In this video, we're going to look at how to copy weights from one skin mesh to another. This is a process that is really important to know how to do when you're rigging. It's typically used uh, when you uh, have already rigged the model, you've weighted the skin, you're liking how it's working, and then suddenly you get an update in the mesh from the modeler, or you realize if you model it yourself that maybe there was an issue uh, maybe once you start rendering, you realize this thing's coming up that you, you didn't see before. Maybe there is a, a triangle or some non-manifold geometry or something like that. If it's just a simple uh, uh, um, kind of change in the sculpt, that's different. For that, you can just create a blend shape, sculpt it however you want, and then leave the blend shape on permanently and just have a, an adjusted sculpt. Um, copying weights is for a, a, more, a larger change in the actual mesh or the topology of the mesh. It's not a very complicated operation. The basic process is, I've already made here um, a pair of pants that have some changes. Now this is just struck uh, um, sculptural changes. I made them look a little more buff, but it's not, not, not great. Um, I didn't add topology changes, but it would work the same way if I did. Um, I just want to show you the basic operation really quickly. So um, what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to, you'd want to have the mesh that you want to put on the model in the same place as the current mesh. So right now we have the pants, I'll call them pants um, revised so we can be clear which one's which. And again, they're right over top of where I'm going to want them once I skin them. So the basic uh, operation here is pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and skin the new pants to the same rig. You can actually have multiple meshes on the same rig. Um, and then once they're both on there, I can then copy the weights from the old mesh to the new one. The old one's right here, model pants right here. In fact, I can go ahead and just stick it right below there, just by middle mouse clicking, dragging, and dropping. So now I have the old pants and the new pants. Um, and again, the old pants here are already skinned and ready to go. So. Let's go ahead, let's do it. Okay, so step one is we need to take the new mesh, the revised mesh here, and we need to attach it to the skeleton. If you're doing the skeleton directly, um, and if this is something that you've rigged up, you can literally just select the joints that you want to attach it to. You can ignore all the other ones and then skin it the way you would normally. If you're using advanced skeleton, um, you can actually just use the um, uh, the deform option here, select your pants, select the deform joints button, and then go ahead and skin like you normally would. I'm going to test this out. What I should see is both meshes are now following along. Now you can see that the weighting is horrible on the new mesh, just terrible. If I were to hide this one, pants revise, we should see that the previous mesh is just fine. So now we can move to step two, which is also the final step. We're going to copy those weights. So I'm going to make sure I'm in the rigging menu up here. I think that's uh, F3, if you want to jump to it quickly. We're going to select the original uh, weighted model, in this case, model pants, and then uh, control and click the pants revise if you're over here in the outliner. Control allows you to select disparate objects that aren't connected. If you do shift, it grabs everything in between, but we we'll only want those two. Other than that, you, uh, aside from that, you can also grab it visually if you can see it here, but that's difficult because they're on top of each other. All right, so grab them in order. In the rigging menu, I'm going to go to skin, and you'll see here copy skin weights. I'll choose the option box, and you have a few options here. I tend to find the default settings here do work the best, um, but uh, you can experiment with any of these. So I'd save your file before you do this, check it out. And actually, even afterwards, you don't even have to save your file. You can just go ahead and if you don't like it, you can try the next one down. Um, the closest point in service should give you the smoothest interpolation. Uh, Ray Raycast, excuse me, is the old version of smoothing uh, from a previous, of I think, like, back like version eight of Maya, so like way long ago. Um, the closest component is used for um, more hard surface, uh, but again, any of these can work. Uh, and then the UV space is designed to be used if there is a massive difference in the two models that we are trying to copy the weights, you might get a better result here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. It tells me the skin was copied, and let's see what we got. 
So I'm going to hide the old pants. And let's see how the new pants work. Great. The weighting was never great here to begin with. Um, and you can see this is uh, affecting some of the mesh here. But honestly, if I were to bring the old one back, I don't think I even weighted that before. So let's see how they compare. This, Yeah. This one's a little bit better, but you can see that squeezing up there. The knee is definitely better here, so I would, I would wish that would have been a little bit tighter. But it's much better than it was before. You should plan on, if you have the changes in the mesh, you're probably going to have to do some cleanup afterwards. Um, but anything's better than having to start from scratch. Um, and then sometimes I get a great one-to-one. -one. It just transfers over, and I'm good to go. Once you're done copying the weights, you do want to do a little cleanup over here. Um, I would save the file first just to have a, a version of it with both models in there, both sets of pants. But the original pants here I no longer need. I can literally just delete them. The new pants here, I can go ahead and just rename them Model Pants. You can make them the same name, or it's probably good to know that there's something slightly different, so Pants 2. As long as you're not changing the name of a control, I'm just going to Shift H to unhide. As long as you're not changing the name of a control, um, or a joint, your rig should be totally fine. Uh, nothing cares about the name of the mesh, um, so it doesn't matter. But the other ones do. Um, last thing to note here is if you are using advanced skeleton, I just want to reiterate that um, if you are if you haven't published yet, the easier thing to do here is just go ahead and change the original base model. Um, this one doesn't have, if I go to the reference editor, it's not referencing any base model anymore because it has been published. Um, but that would be the easier way to adjust things. It's better to do all this before you what you weight it, but um, I've had good luck with um, changing out the model even mid-stride. It's also worth noting, though, uh, that this is not going to work for the face. The face has enough of a complicated setup going on. You can't just switch out the model and then plug in the new weights and call it a day. It will not work. So um, that one, you're going to be stuck. Make sure you have the right model before you go into doing the, uh, the face. Otherwise, you're just going to have to redo the face. Um, I have not found a simple way to just copy weights over and call it a day.